Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video, and today I'm telling you, well, not really telling you, it's more of like an opinion thing, um, but basically, bestie, we are going to go through some levels slash stages of is the new Shire worth it, should you buy it, um, I have some little level things that we'll go through and compare it to the old model, and by the end, hopefully you have an opinion if you want to add it to your wishlist or not, or if you want to get it or not, or if you want to collect them or not you know so the stages are pricing compared to the old version main style and main style options gates and any like special gates coat colors and the variations of coat colors player level and model and details so without any further ado let's jump into it i was trying to come up with something like let's gallop into it but you know whatever don't judge me let's go The first level we're going to go through is prices of the Shires compared to the old version and the new version. So of course, with the release of the new Generation 3 updated Shires to the game, the old Shires got a price decrease and the old Shires definitely win this round with only 475 star coins as their cost now, which is around the price of uh, two good shirts. So yes, it is great. And um, the new ones cost 9 900 star coins, which is definitely a little bit more expensive, although it is not currently the most expensive horse in game, I don't think. There are a few that are above that. So although the old Shires do win the pricing round for only 400 star coins, which is still around $15 a horse, the new Shires are around $30 a horse without st double star coin day. So without double star coins, the old ones are only $15 and the new ones cost $30. I was about to say 300 star coins, but $30 USD. So it is a double the price, but of course the new Shires will outrank in a ton of other categories since their price does make them worth it in my opinion. But again, just pricing wise, I think the old Shires win this round for sure. Next round, we have main styles. Now the new Shire has a ton of new main styles that you can choose from. I think there's around 12 or 13 new main styles for the updated Shire, which does have the option with a beard and without a beard. So it definitely does give a lot more customizational features to the horse. There is a regular kind of main style with everything down. There's a fjord looking main style, the Akultiki main style. They have basic braids, long braids, and... I I call it the bowl cut. I don't really know what it's called. A shorter hairstyle and main style. And then they also have it with decorations in its mane and tail, which definitely is really unique and special to this horse as not all horses have it. I think the only other horse in game that has the option for decorations in the mane and tail so far is the other draft horse. It's not coming to mind real quick. Clydesdale. It is the Clydesdale, which you could purchase at Dundle, but the Shire looks a lot better in my opinion. So I do like that. And there is also all of these mane and tail style options with a beard, whereas the old Shire only has, I think, three to five. It has the original mane style, so there's nothing really unique or special that it has to offer. And the mane styles look a little bit crusty musty, in my opinion, on the old Shire, whereas the new mane styles on the new Shire Generation 3 look a lot more crisp, clean, and more like aligned with the horse, if that makes sense. It's not just a copy paste of what the hairstyle looks like on all the other horses like it doesn't stretch weird or anything like that so the new shires definitely win this round with mane and tail style selections since again it's a lot more customizable and overall they just look a lot more clean and they got that good looking kind of shimmer to them if you know what i mean Next, we have Gates. Now, again, it's a pretty clear winner compared to the old Gates, which honestly back then, a lot of the Gates were copy pastes of each other with just the horse model looking different. The Shire does not have any copy paste Gates, I'll say, other than the special move, which is a laying down animation. The only thing that would make this horse better if, is if it had an own special move, but the laying down animation is not the worst. It first was came out to Star Stable, 
stable. Love the grammar, like rusty. It first was came out to Star Stable with the Jorvik Wild Horses. So it is a pretty cute laying down animation, but it does take a while. There's always the open camera mode hack to get it to stop. It is cute, but again, other horses have it, so it's less unique to the breed itself. Compared to the old crusty generation two model, there is a lot of improvement with the gates. A lot of them are more, are more like smooth and run well with the game. They have great idle animations as well, which are unique to the breed, which the generation two does not have. So again, gates, I think generation three Shire has this in the bag. Next, we have coat colors. Now, for the old Shires, there are about eight coat color variations, which you have the kind of dapple gray, a bay, a gray, another bay, another bay, a black, a chestnut, a black and white, and a gray and black. So there are a lot of options for the old Shire, but there are also eight brand new coat color options for the new Shires currently in game, which include, oh no, there's six, I lied besties, there's only six new coat colors. But there is like a dapple gray, there is a regular gray, there is also some interesting face markings with these horses. And the coat colors in general, I heard a lot of people like the shine that Star Stable gave these horses. I personally like the miniature hairs that are different in the dapple gray. There's just a lot more uniqueness about these horses in general as compared to the old versions. But again, the old versions coat colors aren't half bad for a generation two model and um the model overall is a little but yeah basically i would say they are pretty tied for oh, colors just because there is a gray and black shire in the generation two one which is really cute and honestly there are eight variations of the generation two shire as compared to the six variations of the generation three shire which kind of evens it out although of course the generation two ones are crustier and star Sable has gotten a lot better at making different patterns and not mirroring the coats in the generation 3 version. For generation 2, they're not half bad and their price and just weighing everything. I think the generation 2 Shire wins this one just because of the overall picture. But if we're looking at the quality of the coat colors, generation 3 definitely wins. So I'm just going to call this an even tie. Although, you know, the quality is probably better as compared to spending star coins on a generation 2 one for a coat color that is a little bit crusty, unless you really like the horse. Hey. Next, we have player level. Now, for the Generation 2 Shires, the level restriction is 8, which leaves it open to a lot of players. Although not free-to-play players, which is slightly annoying since it is the Generation 2 Shire. And for the Generation 3 Shire, the newer updated ones, there is an option for free-to-play players to buy it from Fort Pinta currently, which is for limited time, but again, it is better than level 8 since no one can access those if they they are not Star Rider. So there is the option to purchase one of these Shires at Fort Pinta, which is very nice for only level one. So you can literally get a Shire as soon as you enter Star Stable and hit level one. You have the ability to purchase a Shire of course if you unlock Fort Pinta first, but it is very nice to have that option there in game. And at Steve's, they are level eight to buy again. Ew. So definitely the updated Shires win on this one since they do have one horse that you can buy and purchase at Fort Pinta for only level one bestie. Hey, but the other generation two crusties, they only have level eight. So there is no option for anyone below level eight to purchase them, which is slightly annoying in my opinion. But again, I think the generation threes got this one in the bag. Next, we have overall model and details. These are basically my opinions on them and the models for generation three. I could go on about these for hours. Oh my goodness. In the dapple gray, that's my favorite, but it's my opinion, all right. But in the dapple gray, there's like slight dapples, Um, you know, different color dapples as where the older ones don't have that kind of diversity of dapple colors, which does make a huge difference. Like some are very faint and some are more prominent and on the belly and all of 
of the oh my gosh the feet can we talk about that the feet with all of the feathering there it looks a lot different on the generation two than the generation three horses on generation two it kind of looks like they're wearing boots or something like it's stiff barbie horse and on generation three they look a lot more lively and like they are actually fur instead of just like boots with fur that the horses wear like i don't really know how to describe it and i know a lot of people like the horses coats and all of the faint dapples on them even on the caramel even though it is a more kind of basic horse you could see the individual fur markings and the hair markings on it which is definitely nice now for the generation 2 model i know this is one of the most hated models in game unless you have a special connection with them or are probably nostalgic it's probably a pretty bad model in game but for generation 2 they are pretty diverse as compared to most of the generation 1 horses and stuff like that but again i feel like star stable could have changed them up which they did with the generation 3 so i think generation 3 just overall quality of coat colors and the quality of the model as compared to generation 2 definitely win this round so let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below so it was pretty clear which one the winner would be at first i hope you enjoyed me comparing the levels and the pricing i would personally save up for a generation 3 shire just because they run a lot more smoothly and i don't know it just fits the game better now and the cartoonish theme as compared to the generation 2 but again if you're in love with the generation 2 definitely get it as their coat colors are very good compared to some of the other generation 2 horses which don't have as much different coat colors if that makes sense like spots and stuff like that so it is good in that aspect and the price is definitely half the price of a new updated shire let me know what you think of this in the comments down below and which you would choose bye bye <laughs>